Ascension. Ascension, go. Tanana Reeve, Tanana Reeve, Houston Network, Net 1. This is Mission Control, Houston, where all the basic decisions are made during an Apollo mission. From here, flight controllers direct a mission from the time the spacecraft is launched until it is recovered. This is the focal point for all critical information on the spacecraft and the flight crew, where real-time decisions must be constantly made. It is also from here that the world gets news firsthand and can follow the progress of a flight almost as fast as it's happening. There are two control rooms. Each can be used independently, and a separate mission can be handled in each at the same time. Apollo flights are also supported by launch facilities at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Roger, Honeysuckle Network, Net 1. Launch vehicle monitors at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Alabama and a worldwide communications network of tracking stations through the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. The network of tracking stations and the Mission Control Center are joined by the communications, command, and telemetry system. This message-carrying system is the communications link between the spacecraft and the ground. The system consists of three digital computers. Two of them provide for mission support. While one is in use, the second stands by, and the third is used for Apollo program development. This computing complex, one of the world's largest, collects, processes, and sends to mission control all the information needed to direct every phase of the Apollo mission at over three times the speed of earlier systems. The complex works in real time, meaning almost as fast as events are happening. Dynamics retro. During the Apollo mission, the main mission operations control room is supported by six nearby staff support rooms. In these rooms, men keep close tabs on the various systems of the spacecraft. They check the information flowing in and establish trends for long-term performance. Throughout the mission, flight controllers constantly check and analyze the status of the spacecraft. Are all systems operating within pre-established limits? Are mission events occurring as planned? The physical conditions of the flight crew are also of prime concern. Are respiration rates normal? Should the astronauts drink more water? You got it up there, Gun? Yeah, I got it. That looks pretty good. Okay, I want to go on your digital. How do you digital? Through all the phases of the Apollo mission, the real-time computing complex provides flight controllers with the display information they need to make recommendations concerning the flight crew and the spacecraft. Near the end of the Apollo mission, when re-entry is about to begin, it is again the computer complex which provides updated information for the spacecraft computer so that Apollo can make a controlled re-entry. Mission Control, through its vast communications and computing resources, finally directs the recovery of the flight crew. Okay. Well, aircraft and ships. Now we got the selected ahead, AGC Retro. source for high speed from Canaries, and that's reading 107.3 yeah, by 101. The control of an Apollo mission, be it an Earth orbital flight or a trip to the moon, takes place in this room. Success depends on the flight controllers and the critical real-time decisions they must make for the astronauts and their spacecraft. We agree. Right on to... Okay. Right on, yeah. Go ahead. How's it look for nominals, George? Go with the nominals. Roger that. 100%. You bet. We're home. <laughs>